Hi, welcome to another video regarding intermediate accounting 3. So this is share based compensation equity settled chapter 24. So hopefully you'll learn something from here. Um, the illustrations I'll be using ay galing po sa book chapter 24. So go get your book turn it to chapter 24 and yun lahat ng illustrations na explain ko and other techniques na maaari magamit ninyo in solving problems regarding share-based compensation equity settled. Okay, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me through messenger, comment below, subscribe. Anyway, so study hard and make use of your quarantine season uh, properly wisely. Okay. So here we have vesting period. So anong gagawin kapag no vesting period? Okay, so ibig sabihin no vesting exercisable immediately. So ang tatandaan natin pag exercisable immediately on the date of grant, ibibigay mo na siya. Okay, ira-record mo na siya. So una is i-record mo muna yung ibibigay mo yung share options. How do we do that? First, you do debit salaries Salaries expense in the form of SOP. Okay, so SO, lagay mo share options. Ang tatandaan mo lang dito, this is valued at fair value ng share options. Okay, so kaya sa inyong book, ang nakalagay ay 20 pesos times 100,000. Okay, yun yung bigay. Okay, and then you, you credit share options outstanding. Okay, SOO. So this one, credit lang siya at the same price that is 200,000. 2 million pala, sorry. 2 million. So, hindi ko na ilalagay. Gets na yun. Okay? Sorry. Super upgraded. And, nung na-upgrade, sobrang pangit ng sulat. <laughs> okay, anyway. So, next you have, um, paano naman kapag may choice na si, si, um, uh, si key employee na, o oh, sige, kukunin ko na. So, nung kukunin na niya yung share options on the date na exercise date, you record cash. Okay? Tatandaan ninyo, ang cash is recorded at exercise price. Okay? So, dito in the problems in yung 60 pesos yung exercise price niya. Okay? And then, dahil nagamit na yung share options, na credit mo siya nung una, i-debit mo siya tapos itatanggalin mo na siya. So, this one is 6 million. This one is 2 million. So, debits mo. Total of 8. And then, sa baba, dahil nagbigay ka ng shares, malamang mag-recognize mag ka ng ordinary share capital at par value. Okay? Remember, this is at par. Kaya dito ay, ang ginamit niya as is 50. Okay? Kaya dito, credit 5 million. And then, Balancing figure, sobra. <laughs> okay, yung sobra is 3 million. Okay, just to balance the equation. Or, if you want the the um, full version ng SP, that's actually 60 pesos plus 20 pesos. Okay, the 60 pesos exercise price plus the 20 pesos par value minus 50 pesos par. Okay, fair value. Again, this is exercise price plus fair value minus par. That's actually 60 plus 20, 80 minus 50, 30. 30 times 100k, that's 3 million. Okay? So, that's it. Go to with vesting period level 1. So, when you say level 1, super dali niya. Okay? So, problems in yung book, that's January 1, 2020. Kailangan daw nung officers na mag render ng service for 2 years. So, 2 years, yung vesting period niya, ibig sabihin, hindi pa niya ibibigay. Pagkatapos na ng 2 years, mo blood to. Okay, yung par value, ang fair value niya is 15 pesos. Okay, ang una nga gagawin is total compensation. Hanapin niyo muna is yung total compensation. So, magkano yung total compensation for the 2 years na uh, i-render nilang service. Okay? So, first off, you have isang daang shares, isang daang libong shares ang ibibigay. Okay? And, sa 100,000 shares, 
Ang fair value ng bawat isa is 15. Makakuha ka ng 1.5. 1,500,000 pesos. Okay? Ito yung matatanggap nila in 2 years. Okay? Ang problema, every year siyang nire-record. Hindi naman pwedeng, hindi mo pa nare-render yung service buong 2 years na yung iyong nire-recognize. Hindi. So, you have to divide for the annual. Hanapin mo yung annual mo na. For the annual, you divide 1.5. You divide 1,500,000 divided by 2. So, that's 750 per year. Okay? Per year. Saan mami ang ginagamit? To record SO. Okay? Sa SOO mo siya ay nalagay. The share options outstanding. Okay? Paano po ma'am ang kanyang recording? The same. Okay? Debit <coughs> per year. For example, 2020 debit salaries expense okay from the share options okay and then credit soo in the amount of 750k okay and then for 2021 the same salaries and then credit soo and 750k 750k okay so Yan. So, natapos yung dalawang taon, ma'am, paano pag in-exercise na niya completely? Pag in-exercise na niya completely, you have to, rec on 2022, you have to recognize uh, exercise date, journal entry. So, ano po yun? Yung combination ng cash, SOO, debit, and then credit, OS, and then SP. Yan po yung magkakapartner. Okay, remember that cash is measured at fair value. Ah, sorry, exercise value or the exercise price. Sorry naman. Okay, that's 60 pesos, yung exercise price. Your SO is at fair value. Ma'am, 750 o buo? Buo, kasi na-render na niya yung 2 years. So, buong 1.5 million, ire-record mo as SOO. Okay, so this one is 6 million, this one is 1.5 million. Okay, ang OS, syempre, at par. So, at par value, you have 5 million, 100,000 uh, share options times uh, f uh, 50 pesos par value, that's 5 million. And, syempre, balancing figure to 0.5M. Nahihiya akong balancing figure lang si share premium pag sinasabi ko. Kasi, actually, it's the reality of life. <laughs> okay, pero if you want the hard one, that 60 plus the fair exercise price plus fair value minus par. That's um, 25 times 100, 2.5. Okay? So, yun lang. Andali. Level 1. Level 1. Okay. okay, for this one, you have some employees left illustration. So, in reality naman, may mga umaalis na empleyado bago ma-vest yung um, share options bago matapos yung share uh, uh, yung vesting period okay so sa the entity employees dito vesting period pa rin okay ngayon hindi hindi lahat ng empleyado uh, nagstay okay so dito gumawa ako ng table para mas madali siyang maintindihan okay so hindi kagaya nung yung level 1 problem na binigay yung total. Dito, hindi niya binibigay yung total. So, you have to compute for the total. Okay, total share options outstanding fair value. So, anong gagawin? So, yung problem, tingnan ninyo, 100 share options na ang bigay sa kada limang empley limang daang empleyado. Okay? Kada empleyado, tatanggap daw ng 100 share options. So, dami yun. Okay? Pero, kailangan magstay daw sila 3 years. Okay, bago ibigay. Ang fair value niya is 30 pesos. Okay? So, unahin muna natin on December 31, 2020. Okay, year 2020. Ang empleyado mo daw is um, 500. Okay? 500 daw yung bibigyan. Kaso, may umalis na 30. Okay? So, minus mo, hindi na sila bibigyan. Okay? Tapos, may expectation. Kailangan, i-recognize mo din yung expectation niya. Minus 30. Okay? We live during the vesting period. So, a total of 430, 30, 60, 500. So, this one is 4, 6, eh, sorry. 440 na lang ang 
matitira. Okay, 30, 36 minus 1, 440. Okay, so 440, multiply mo yung per share niya na 100. So, meron kang 440 times 100 shares, you have 44,000. Okay, and afterwards, yung 44,000, multiply mo sa fair value na 30 pesos, makakuha ka ng 1,320. Okay. Ngayon, ang tawag sa 1,320 ay cumulative compensation expense. Ibig sabihin, sa tatlong taon, yun yung matatanggap mo. Okay? Kaso, ang usapan naman ay 2020 lang. Okay? So, gagawin mo yung level 1. Divide mo siya ng 3 years. Besting period. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, ang currency mo for 2020 ay 4 40,000 divided by 3. Okay? Gets po ba? The next, 2021. So, sa 2021, binigyan ka na information na 500 yung empleyado and yung 2020, 30 daw yung umalis. For 2021, 28 daw ang umalis. Tapos, meron daw expected na 25 pang aalis. This one is 2020. Okay, ito, ito. Ito yun. And this one is 2021. Ito yun. And this one is estimate. So, ang total na matitira na lang for 2021 is actually 470 na lang. 417. Okay, so gawin muna natin yung buong proseso. 417 times 100. Okay? Okay. That's per share. So, you have 41,700. And then, sa fair value, you have 41,700 times 13 fair value. Meron kang cumulative na 1 to 51,000. Okay? This, again, is total compensation. Okay? Cumulative compensation. Ma, magkaiba. Oo, alam po. Wait lang. Okay? So, ang gagawin mo dito, kasi ang iyong recognition nito is for 2 years times 2 over 3. So, you have to find the cumulative, uh, the uh, proportion. Kasi for 2 years siya. Okay? So, for 2 years, dapat siya ay, ang lalabas dito ay 834,000. Okay? However, may na-recognize ka na nung first year na for 40,000. Okay, you have to deduct it. Kasi sa 834, 2 years. Okay, dalawang taon. Eh, na-recognize mo na to. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, tanggalin mo si 440 kay 834. Kaya, minus 440,000. Your current compensation expense will be at 3,000. 94,000. Okay? Gets po ba? Okay? Ang ginawa, kinompute yung for 3 years, kaso lumipas na ang dalawang taon, and this one is computed for 2 years. Estimate, so times 2, times 2 divided by 3, lalabas po yung for 2 years na 834,000, kaso, nag-recognize ka na ng 440 no first year, Minus mo ngayon, 834,000 minus 440,000, lalabas si 42021 na 394,000. Ganun lang po. Okay? For 2022, let's continue. Habang ito. Okay? Again, 500 yung empleyado. May umalis na 30 noong 2020. May umalis na 28 noong 2021. And may umalis na 22 noong 2022. Kaya, ang natira na lang is 420. So, gawin po ulit natin. 420 times 100. 42,000. Okay? Then, next, you have 42,000 times 30 is equal to I'm sorry, ang ingay na kapatid ko. Yan, ano na siya? 1, 2, 60, 1,000. Okay? Again, this one is cumulative. 1 to 60,000. Okay? We get the proportion. Okay? 
we get the proportion na times, kasi for 3, times 3 over 3. Okay? So, that's 1 times 1. So, ganun pa rin. So, ang gagawin mo dito, kasi tatlong taon siya. Okay? Ang, ga ang gawin mo na lang, dahil tatlong taon siya, alam mong ito'y pang dalawang taon, ito na lang ang iyong ididak. Okay? Minus 834,000. So, lalabas ng current compensation expense mo ay 426,000 for, 20, for 2022. Okay? For 2022. Okay? O kaya naman, kung ayaw mo malito, yung 126,000 minus mo si 440, minus mo si 394, this one is for 2020, and this one is for 2021. Okay? The same ang lalabas, si 4 26,000 for 2022. Okay? Gets po ba? Okay? Yun lang. Yung lang. Okay? Okay, we now go to next level 3 na with condition and exercise price vary. So, dito sa problem, binigyan ka na Ang condition niya is actually, pag tumaas ang earnings mo ng 10%, yung exercise price mo ay bababa ng 80 pesos. Okay? And, ang katumbas niya, fair value, ay 30 pesos. Fair value is 30 pesos. Okay? Ma'am, maganda po bang bumababa exercise price? Yes. It is an advantage on the part of the senior executive na bumaba ang exercise price niya. Advantage yun. Pag tumaas ang exercise price, disadvantage. Pag bumaba ang exercise price, advantage. Okay? So, tingnan natin ang information. Um, 2020, okay, ang earnings daw ay 12%. So, kukunin mo yung average niya. 12%. Dahil one year pa lang. So, wala siyang average kundi 12%. Okay? So, for 2020, 12%. Unang tanong, does it satisfy 10% condition? Yes. Okay? Kaya, yung share options niya, na 20,000, ibibigay lang, isang tao lang bibigyan nito, times fair value na 30, fair value ha? This is fair value. Fair value na 30, meron kang total compensation na 600,000 for 3 years time. Ano nga sabi natin? per year ang computation divided by hanggang kailan siya empleyado? Hanggang 2022. Ilang taon yun? 3 years. Okay? Kaya per year, that's 200,000 compensation expense. Ano? Compensation expense. Essential na pangat na sulat ha. Inagaw ko lang yung tablet ng kapatid ko. Ha. Okay? Anyway, for 2022, 21 pala, sorry. Ang in 2021 daw is 11%. So, dito, you have to look at 2020 na 12% plus 2021 na 11% and then kunin mo yung average divided by 2, lalabas na 12 plus 11% is higher than 10%. Na satisfy na naman yung condition na 10%. Okay, kaya ang gagamitin mo is the 30 pesos fair value. Kaya, 20,000 times 30 is equal to 600,000. Ito naman, this is different ha, kasi dalawang taon na yung lumipas, kaya times 2 divided by 3. Kunin mo na yung pang 2 years. Okay, so pang 2 years niya is 400,000. O kaya naman, para hindi ka malito, yung per year, kasi the same yung cumulative niya, Ito'y gagawin mo lang pag same ang cumulative. The same yung cumulative niya, yung 200,000, i-add mo lang na isa pang 200,000, 400,000 na. Okay? Amazing. Okay? So, dahil for 2 years to, ang kailangan mo is for 1 year lang, minus mo yung na, na recognize mo na last year. Kasi itong 200,000 na to, nasa loob ng 400,000. Kaya minus mo si 200,000. You have current compensation expense for 200 for 2021 na 220 200,000 Okay? Naintindihan ko ba? <laughs> okay? So this one next. We now go to 2022. Sabi ng 2022 
daw, 4% na lang yung increase ng earnings. So, noong 2012, eh, 2020, 2012, noong 2020 plus 20, 21 na percentage plus 4, the current, divided by 3, pumatak lang siya ng 9% average. Okay? Is it greater than 10? No. So, it doesn't satisfy 10. So, when it doesn't satisfy 10, yung original exercise price ang gagamitin, which is, the original exercise price is 100,000. And if, eh, 100,000, 100 pesos. And if the exercise price though, is 100 pesos, the fair value is actually at 25 pesos. Okay? So, let's go. Let's compute 20,000 times 25 is equal to 500,000. So, this is cumulative for 3 years. Okay? Times. Okay, yung ginagawa na iba, multiply pa sa 3 over. Times 3, divide 3. Para lang for the sake of, you know, maging 3 years na siya, ganyan, ganyan. Anyway. So, times 1, so 500,000 pa rin siya. Okay? Then, if 500,000 pa rin siya, remember that ito ay for 3 years, meaning to say, yung previous years na sa loob niya ay eh, ang kinukuha lang naman natin is current year kaya minus 400,000 okay cumulative of last year ito given ka kasi nito pwedeng para mapatali ang buhay mo yun na lang o kaya naman minus 200 minus 200 okay so it's up to you kung, magka, kung alin ang gagamitin mo but for the current year 2022 ang kanyang compensation expense is 100,000 Okay? Yes, Buba? Okay, if you have questions, you may message me. Okay? Level 3. Okay, so we now go to intrinsic value method. Okay? So, so intrinsic value method, you use this if your market or your fair market value na share options cannot be reliably measured. Okay? Given sa inyong illustration, we'll discuss about it. Sabi, may vesting period daw siyang 2 years kasi from 20... 20 January 1 hanggang December 20 December 31 2021. Okay, yun yung vesting period niya. Okay? Ang titingnan mo diyan is computation ng market value and ah, ng intrinsic value. You have market value minus your option price or your uh, exercise price. Okay? So let's do it. For 2020, sabe, nasa problem, sabe, ang market value ng 2020 is actually at 150 pesos okay minus your option price na hindi naman nag-iiba na 125 you have an intrinsic value of 25 pesos okay sabay mamimigay daw siya ng a total of 10 10,000 share options then you multiply it by one by 25 and you'll get 250,000 cumulative okay then afterwards may cumulative ka na dalawang taon divide mo vesting period then, you have a total of 125000 for compensation expense now 2020. Okay? For 2021, the same. Hanapin mo market value niya. The market value in 2021 is 180 minus hindi naman ang babagong option price mo. Then, you'll have 55 na option price. Multiply mo lang is your options mo times 25. You'll have a total of 550000 Okay. Cumulative of 2 years, ibig sabihin, nasa loob ni 550, si 125, you deduct it, minus 125,000. Kaya lalabas, for 2021, your compensation expense is 425,000. Okay? So, nagvest na siya ng 2 years. Kaya ito, hindi mo na ito kailangang, oh, gusto mo naman, lagi natin, 2 over 2. Okay? Tapos ito ay times 1 over 2. Okay? So, it's the same. So, sabi, ng 2022, doon pa lang daw in-exercise yung share. So, kailangan, yung share options, kailangan computein mo ulit. Kasi nagbago yung market value niya. Naging 200 na. So, 200 minus 125, you'll have, this one is 75. Okay? Then, 10,000 times 75, you have 750,000. Then, minus mo lang itong cumulative or kung ayaw mo, gusto mo para pa sarili mo, minus mo si 125, minus mo si 425. 
Okay, na pag pinag-add mo ay 550. Okay, kaya minus mo si 550,000. Yan, lalabas. Your current compensation expense at the date of exercise is 200,000 pesos. This additional compensation ng 2022. Kasi ang, ang ina-expect mo lang actually ay um, 550,000. Kaso, tumaas yung intrinsic value niya na naging 200 siya. Kaya, meron kang additional 200,000 na ibibigay. Ano? Okay, that's intrinsic value method. Okay, so dito naman, we have acceleration of this thing. Uh, dito, sinasabi lang na paano kung binayaran ko na lang yung mga empleyado, hindi ko na lang ginintay na matapos yung vesting period. Kung baga, binigay ko na sa kanila agad. Kung baga, ang usapan, apat na taon. Pero dahil uh, sabik na sabik na akong ibigay, ginawa ko na lang two years, three years. Okay? So, paano yon? Kasi, di ba, pag nagkocompute tayo ng cumulative, pag cumulative ang kinocompute, yuh, nawala. Pag cumulative ang kinocompute natin, actually, we're doing na siya ay kung ilan yung vesting period dinidivide natin kung ilang vesting period. Eh, paano yon? Eh, nung nagbagong isip mo is, uh, for example, hanggang 2025 dapat, nag-decide ka na ibigay na lang 2022. So, anong gagawin? Actually, yung gagawin mo lang is yung mga remaining, yung remaining na dapat i-recognize mo, i-recognize mo na ng 2022. Okay, as compensation expense, yun natitira. Okay, hindi mo na kailangan vesting vesting period pa, hindi. Okay, kung magkano na yung na-recognize mo noong 2020, 2021, 2020, 2021, hayaan mo na. Nandun na siya. Okay, and for 2022, the remaining ang iyon papasok. So, for example, yung illustration sa book, sabi, nung kinalculate daw yung total compensation, okay, mabait kasi yung book, buong value, ng compensation expense. Siya na ang nag-compute pero some problems, kailangan ikaw yung mag-compute ng total compensation na in-accelerate. Okay? 4 million daw. Okay? May na-recognize na daw nung 2020 na 1M at nung 2021 na 1050M. Okay? Million. So, anong gagawin mo? Ay, di alamin mo na lang magkano ang remaining. Yak, ang pangit. Magkano ang remaining na um, compensation expense na i-recognize? So, anong gagawin? Di yung 4 million, yan yung total. Add mo tong dalawa, 1 million at saka 10,050. You have, pag pinag-add, mag-0 to 2 million, 0,050. Okay? Then, ang lalabas, ang total compensation expense mo na i-recognize mo dapat ay 1,950,000. Okay? 1,000. Yun yung nasa example ng book, ha? Okay? Na dapat daw mag-vest siya ng 2023, pero may nadali, 2022, binayaran na siya. Okay? So, J ang JE niya, syempre, yung usual, uh, salaries expense, and then credit SOO. Okay? Magkano? Eh, di yung nadagdag, 1,950,000. 1,950,000. Okay? And on the exercise date, that's on 2022, paano may recognize Ipasok mo lang yung magkakapartner na JE. Cash, debit cash, SOO, credit, OS, and SP. Okay? Alam mo na ang cash is measured at uh, fair value. Okay? So, hanapin mo fair value. Ah, for fair value. Sorry. Exercise price. Sorry na. Exercise price. So, the exercise price is 60 pesos. So, ilagay mo lang, 50,000 shares. 50,000 shares M60. You have actually 3 million na cash na natanggap from the key employees na binigyan. And yung SOO, huwag ka na mag-compute. Si 4 million yun. Okay? 4 million. Si, si ordinary share, this is your par. Par value. So, kaya... Ang par value niya is 50, kaya ang kanyang share capital is 2.5 M. And then, i-share premium, hehehe, <laughs> balancing figure, 4.5. Kung ayaw mo naman na ganun, ay di, yung, uh, tawag din eh, yung exercise price times 
yung per unit ni SOO. So, 4 million divided by 50,000 shares. Okay? Work back. So, yon Fair value. AP plus fair value minus present value. So, yun na yun. Okay? Siya na yan. Yeah. Share premium. So, hopefully, naintindihan nyo siya. Ganun lang ang acceleration of this thing. Okay. okay, now we now go to the last uh, condition which is the modification of condition whether it is um, favorable or unfavorable modification. So, ang tanong muna is kailan ba kailan ba uh, din ni, kailan ba siya favorable? Favorable. Sa empleyado, kapag favorable siya, kapag bumaba yung uh, exercise price or the option price at tumaas yung fair value. Favorable yan kasi mas affordable sa kanina. Kailan unfavorable, edi eh, kapag kabalik ka ka. Ano? Okay? So, now we're going to compute the scenarios wherein um, nagbabago yung terms. Okay? So, let's first have the illustrations in yung book, which is page 871. Sabi sa inyong book, given, may 100 shares daw to be given to 500 employees. So, mix to ng modification of conditions at some employees left. So, kung paano natin ginagawa yung some employees left, ganun ang gagawin natin. Okay, so let's start. Noong 2020 daw, <coughs> meron kang 500 employees May umalis na 40 at may estimated kang 17 aalis. Ayan, total employees mo na natira at bibigyan mo ng share options 1890. 390 empleyado, tatanggap bawat isa ng isang daang shares, you have a total of 39,000. Okay? So, sa 39,000, multiply mo siya sa fair value ng kada share times 15. Sabi sa inyong book, siya daw ay 15 ang fair value. Kaya ang total compensation mo ay 585,000. Okay? Anong magic natin? Tatlong taon divided by 3. Kaya, ang CE CE mo uh, original is 195,000. Okay? Wala ka pang modified kasi wala naman nangyayari pang modification. Okay? Noong 2021, nandiyan na po si modification. Okay? 2021, 500 na empleyado, umalis ng 2020 ay 40, umalis ng 2021 ay 35, at estimated na alis ng 2022 ay 30. Kaya natira na lang, papasweldohin mo, 395. 395 times 100 na shares, meron kang 39,500. Okay? 39,500 times 15, meron kang total compensation na 592,500. This is for 3 years, get the proportion times 2, yung magic natin, times 2 divided by 3. Kaya, lalabas, meron kang 395,000. Okay? So, maganda dito, cumulative siya, meron kang modified version na sabi, bigla daw bumaba yung fair value niya into 6. Okay? So, biglang bumaba yung fair value niya to 6 pesos. Okay? Ah, increase pala. Sorry. Hindi pala bumaba. Nag-increase ng fair value into 6. So, from 15 plus 6, increase. Ang record mo na lang, para madali, sabi din sa inyong libro, ay yung increase. Kaya, yung 39,500 ito, 39,500, times increase na 6, idagdag mo lang siya. Kaya, ang modified mo is 118,500. Okay? Pag-add mo lang yung dalwa, your total compensation expense for 2021 is actually 513,500. Okay? Minus mo, syempre, hindi pa tapos, minus mo si 195. Kasi for 2 years, yung, yung na-record, nasa loob si 195. Kaya, for, ang ira-record mo lang ay 3, 18, 500. Ano? Okay? 
remember always na nasa loob niya yung first year. Kaya, ah, di ba na sabi? Ito. Kaya, kailangan tanggalin mo siya. Ano? Okay. Okay. Yun. So, anong unique dito? This one. Ching! This one is the increase. In-increase na daw siya ng 6 pesos na fair value. Okay? So, for 2020, hopefully, kasha pa siya. Okay? Kasha pa naman siya, siguro. Baba natin ang kaunti yung screen. <laughs> yeah. Okay? So, sa employees, yung 2022, lagay ulit natin, 500 minus 40, malis ng 2020, malis ng 2021, at last na, umalis ng 2022, kaya ang natira na lang ay 380. 380 times 100 shares, ang ibibigay mo sa kanila ay 38,000 times fair value na 38,000 times 15, meron kang 570,000. Okay. Then, nag-increase ulit. 38,000 times 6. Dito yung modified. Modified, modified, 228,000. Okay. Actually, dito na yun. Kasi times 3 over 3 na naman to. Kaya, 570 ang yung total current. Total compensation expense. Kapag na yung dalwa, you have 798,000 so this is your rig and this is your modified okay, so anong gagawin natin minus mo yung previous minus ka ng nirecognize mo noong unang taon na 195,000 this is you know, noong 2020 then minus mo yung compensation na nirecognize mo noong huli 2021. Kaya, for 2022, ang i-recognize mo na lang ay 284,500. Or, <gasps> no. <coughs> for 2020. Okay? So, ganun lang po siya. Okay naman na. Very good, very good. So, Ma'am, pwedeng diretso na? Pwede naman. Yung add mo na lang, 15, tsaka 16, ganon. Kaso, um, there are so many ways to do this. Okay? So, keep experimenting. If you're, if you have um, discovered something new, okay, let me know kung ano yung technique para ma-share din natin sa iba. If you haven't, eh, di stick to the book, bookish way. Okay? Kaya naman, make your own formula. But uh, we are faithful to the accounting standard and nakukuha pa rin natin. Yung, yung tama. So, ano? Okay? So. I hope you understand the discussions. If you have questions, please message me on Messenger. Okay? And I hope you're doing well. Hindi yung kain lang ng kain sa bahay. Makapagpas pagpasok natin, hindi ko na kayo makilala. Super chubby niya. Yung exercise naman na kante. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, we're not doing this just because gusto natin matapos yung semester, but we're, we're doing this, we're studying very hard, even if walang physical schooling is because we want to pass our, the board exam for our licenses. Okay? So, yun po. And I hope you're doing well. Stay safe. Stay kind, stay beautiful, and do chores. Bye-bye.